Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the Houston Rockets have traded Josh Christopher and Patty Mills to the Memphis Grizzlies in a sign and trade deal that gets the Rockets Dylan Brooks. As we've already talked about on the channel how Dylan Brooks has signed a four year, $80 million deal to the Houston Rockets. But in order, um, to make this signing have to to make this signing happen, the Rockets are in, the the Rock sorry the Rockets and Grizzlies are doing a sign and trade between the um, just the Rockets and Grizzlies and I know it's usually just two teams in a sign and trade but actually we today we saw the very rare and does not happen often and it's very hard to do does it doesn't happen often it's hard for teams to do. A three-team sign-and-trade we saw happen today between the Spurs, Heat, and Cavs for Max Struess. But uh, this was just between, well, you know, I honestly would say you would, you could maybe even say this was a three-team trade because the Nets gave us Patty Mills in order for us to do this deal. Uh, because earlier the Rockets traded for Patty Mills, and they sent, they sent us Patty Mills. We gave them literally nothing. It was just literally just a salary dump for... The it was just a salary dump for for Brooklyn and a clear roster spot open in my opinion. So that happens, and then next thing you know, we're trading Patty Mills, and it wasn't announced until a couple of hours later. But we're trading Patty Mills and Josh Christopher in a sign and trade to the Memphis Grizzlies in order to sign Dylan Brooks to a four year, eighty million dollar deal. So I mean, it's tough to say goodbye to Josh Christopher, but and I know people are going to be upset about this. But I'm honestly, I don't, I don't mind giving up Josh Christopher and Ty Washington. I love both guys, and I, I was, I was honestly surprised that Josh Christopher was traded because what I heard from Ime Udoka, you know, watching his press conference and you know hearing different things of, that he said, it, it to me it sounded like his plans were for Josh Christopher to stay on this roster. That's the only reason I was surprised. It's just because it seemed that his plans were for Josh Christopher to be on this roster next season, but. Turns out he won't be. So, I mean, he had a solid season for the Rockets. He averaged six points per game. But, I mean, man, I love Josh, but he struggled badly from three-pointer, from from his three-point shot. I mean, he shot 23% from three last season for the Rockets. Um, besides that, I mean, his scoring was good besides his three-point shot. I mean, he's never really been a good – I mean, his three-point percentage went down a lot than it, than it was the year before. His three-point percentage was way better than it was – in his rookie season than it was. It was it was it wasn't great in his rookie season, but it was better than it was in, in this in this, you know, past season. His rookie season I think he shot like 30 or 31% from 3, and then this year he shot 23% from 3, but only on 89 attempts when I think he almost took 200 three-pointers in his in his rookie year. His rookie season he was really solid. He averaged like almost 8 points per game. Um but yeah, I mean I, I wish him the best in Memphis. He's a good player. And Patty Mills. I, I'm I, I hate that we had to give up Patty Mills. I don't think we were ever, you know I don't think we we're gonna I don't think we were ever planning to keep Patty Mills, but I just hate that we gave him up just because I just thought that he was of such a good fit for the Rockets. Because, you know, we signed Jeff Green earlier to a one year six million dollar deal. You're trying to add in veteran you know, veteran experienced guys to help you know, help help the younger guys in the locker room. I thought Petty Mills was a great example for that for the Rockets. I really did. I thought it was a great fit. He's not only not only is he a still a solid player at almost thirty five years old, but he's also a great veteran, a good stand up guy. And um, I know, I know, I know that Patty Mills was not on the Rockets for long, but man, I, I that of everybody, I'm upset we gave him up because you know we added in jeff green we're trying to build a veteran system i know we added i know we added van vliet and brooks two other dylan brooks two other you know guys that are you know more experienced players but i thought you know with patty mills our veteran you know our veteran group was was very good and uh but for in order for us to do this deal we were gonna have to send patty mills to the memphis grizzlies but that was what the rockets were planning to do the whole time that's why they traded that's why they took on Brad, patty mills contract you guys remember your thoughts, Rockets fans? Oh, and also like that. That I just last my last point is like with Memphis now they have so many guards. Memphis has so many guards now. I mean, if you're not even including John Morant with how many shooting guards or point guards they have, they have Marcus Smart, they have Derrick Rose, 
Patty Mills, and Josh Christopher. Then once Jaw comes back, they have Jaw Morant. That's five point guards. Maybe Jaw. Maybe you could say Josh Christopher is uh, a shooting guard, uh, but Josh Christopher is more of a point guard than he is a shooting guard. So I mean, they got a lot of guards, and then they have Luke Kennard as well. They have a couple of their guards. They have Desmond Bain. That, that Memphis team. I, I thought we had a lot of guards. We have Amen Thompson, Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Green, KPJ. Uh, who else do we have? Oh, Patty Mills is gone, so he's not. Oh, it's, it's not as guard. It's not as many guards as I thought we had because Josh is gone, Ty Ty's gone, Patty's gone. So, I mean, there's still a lot of guards on the Rockets, just not as much. Dylan, I guess you can say Dylan Brooks is a guard, but he'll be playing the small forward position for the Rockets this season. But I like I like the trade for the Rockets. I mean, it sucks giving up Josh Christopher, but I mean, let's be honest. Like, we all love Josh Christopher. He has some great potential talent. But he struggled this season for us. He really did struggle. And uh, we'll, we'll see how he does in Memphis. I wish him nothing but the best. And same thing for Patty Mills. I know he didn't. He never played with us. He wasn't even a Rocket for a full day. But I thought he would have been great for us. But uh, you guys have your thoughts, Rockets fans? That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And peace out. Go Rockets.